power that we have is over there. Okay. Um, so I think that would be power is over there. Okay, on the in the so if you see like where the vines are. And you are excited about Bernie. Why are you spending your time coming out here to do something for this Bernie Sanders dude? Um, Bernie Sanders represents pretty much everything that I could possibly, that I think my generation stands for. He believes in having an economic system where everyone has a fair shake. He believes in a foreign policy that is geared more towards peace than toward being a police officer of the globe. Uh, and he's just downright honest. A worker bee. Hello, worker bee. Are you putting up beautiful balloons? Yes. May I interview you? Uh, he basically is unafraid of saying a lot of the things which I feel haven't really been said in democratic politics in the majority of the past century. And mm -hmm. so, and he supports the unions and he wants to make public college free, which is really cool. And, uh, yeah. But um, the session will be just anyone who's interested in single parent universal health care or just you know Bernie's health policy in general. We'll all gather together. Um, we'll talk about why we're interested in this. You know why we why we think this is such an important part of Bernie's plan, and uh, we'll try to identify some themes in that and then figure out how we're going to make this happen. Great. Thank you so much, Vanessa. Yeah. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> Go Bernie. Go Bernie. What inspired you to do this? What inspires me to do this? Well, people are hungry for some kind of alternative to big money politics. And the fact that in Boston, where there hasn't really been anything, it's been a democratic machine city for decades, um, there was a very clear space that was open. And so Julie and I uh, held a, um, a small discussion with some interested people in our studio. It was about a dozen people. And that initiated this. And this is mushroom beyond all our expectations. Anyway, so, it's so cool. You get to be an interviewer for WGBH. That must oh, yeah. have been an exciting job. Recorder. It's a great so, job. So are you recording Adam now? Is that the deal? At the moment, I'm screwing around. As soon as oh, we okay. start, I'll start. All right, we're ready to go. Right. I want my students graduating from university without debt. When big corporations violate our rights, the leader of those corporations should go to jail. When Bernie got up and started talking about these things, I said, I'm going to go out there, and I'm supporting that dude. Oh, what a beautiful sign! I should introduce myself because I guess you guys, most of you don't know me. So, I'm Julie Viono. I started this, this Facebook thing because I was bothering all my friends and then I thought, hey, I should get together with a couple people and now we have like 1,700 people potentially coming today. <laughs> so, that's fun. Um, yeah. It, people coming out. 16 months. Crazy socialists! Corporations rule! Pray to money! Money is your god! We love money! Hi everyone! What this is about is connecting with one another, to know that we are strong, to know that we are going to get this done, we are going to get Bernie elected, and we're going to keep the movement going strong long after, and this is what this is about. So, I think for all of us here tonight, we're here just like the thousands that have been inspired by Bernie Sanders and what he's been bold enough to talk about and what other politicians would never say. It is our duty to fight for our freedom. It is our duty to win. We must love and support each other. We have nothing to lose but our chains. Um, so my name is Mary, and I'm a 16-year-old activist from Cambridge. I'm 
also a proud young black queer woman, so so in all seriousness, um, I'm here to be real and bring the real concerns that young people, queer people, and black people face in this very racist, very heterosexist, very adultist society. Walker is the, government of, uh, the governor of my home state, of Wisconsin, and he's made something of a sport of cutting education funding. I did not hear him or anyone else on the right talking about the $1.2 trillion in student debt about the cost of college rising at well over 3% a year, about the fact that we in the United States pay an average of seven times more than anyone else in the industrial world for a college education. I don't hear anyone talking about that. If socialism means that we will not rest, we as people, we as human beings, we will not rest until a homeless person stays in the streets and is not given a fair opportunity, then I say I'm a socialist. If socialism means free health care, an affordable home, and if you can't afford a home, the government will provide you with one. If socialism means to have proper transportation and respectable security for everybody, then yes, I am a socialist. Okay, you got 20 minutes. Yeah, 20 minutes. Come back with uh, a one minute call back. Okay? Meanwhile, corporate tax rate on average in these countries is only 12%. On paper, it's 35, but between all the breaks and the banning and everything. I know. So, what's a good answer to that? Because I don't that's the problem I struggle with. It's like, abolish this tax, abolish that tax, but then where's the money come from? Well, I can tell you where the money comes from because, as I shoot myself, I'm rich. And we rich people, we don't pay taxes like you regular people. My view of the whole thing is the best way to attack right. it is to point out to everybody, including our Republicans, that no, we don't want to give away free money to rich people. We rich people are fine, stop giving us free money. That's the way I've been attacking it. Yes. 75% of them aren't voting, so it goes back to that person's point about getting political leaders in power, but it also kind of goes back to getting young people to vote. Hey, I'm Nikhil, and uh, I'm going to talk about taxes. Yay! Woo taxes! So, in my group, we talk about taxes, and how do we fix taxes in this country? Well. When it comes down to it, the federal government takes up 25% of the country's GDP. That's about three to four trillion dollars. If you don't feel comfortable portraying uh, the message of single payer uh, in a political way, you need you can just talk about single payer as I can be sick and you can be sick, and there's something we can do about it so that healthcare costs don't constantly rise and co quality can improve and there are both incentives and solutions, and I think Bernie is the man for the job. And I led the group on creating worker co-ops. I'm here to let you know you don't need a boss. We need to, we need to lay down the law and make rules, and enforce those rules with the FCC. For example, um, when we talk in school about Martin Luther King, we talk about how he was a civil rights activist, um, but we fail to mention about how he himself discussed the March on Washington as an income inequality um, issue march as well for African Americans. And you're going to send a tweet at M A S S A F L C I O. Say. Throw your support turns towards hashtag Bernie Sanders. The workers of Massachusetts want him over Hillary. Thanks. Uh, volunteers, please return your clipboards. Everyone, please take your trash with you. Apart from that, we'll see you at the next Bernie event. Thank you, everybody.